can record on my end. You're good. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it, it's going. I'll send you a link anyways uh, through okay. YouTube afterwards. All right. Uh, so where are you calling from, Kyle? Uh, I'm in Pocatello, Idaho. Oh, Idaho. Cool. I'm in uh, Memphis right now. Oh, okay. Very cool. So uh, tell me, Kyle, why'd you uh, schedule a call with me? Um, I think um, I think you'd reached out through my Instagram, if I remember correctly. Um, and uh, and I just I was just curious what you know what all you had to offer and and whatever. Um, just you know working and building my business and and uh, you know working on on taking on new clients. Great. So, uh, tell me about your business. Uh, so I'm a life coach, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I've kind of kind of gone through a little bit of uh, re-niching, um, but uh, but have it kind of fairly well dialed in now. Um, I uh, I coach people that are that are really um, really in uh, feeling stuck. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of you know kind of maybe unsure as to what they're stuck in, but um, you know uh, emotional and and th thought drama that's holding them back um, right. either from uh, from moving forward on you know whatever it is that they're working on or or just um, just having the confidence to um, you know or mental clarity you know what any any of those things that may be holding them back um, from moving forward in whatever it is that they would like to okay great and um, how long have you been a life coach for um, this this year um, February uh, really started going on it and and went through certification and everything. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how how many students do you have right now? Um, I have uh, I have just a few clients right now. Okay. So not, All not right. Do you have a goal, uh, course or is it like a monthly money. thing? Sorry, go ahead. No, um, I do um, I do six month program okay. is uh, is what I'm currently set up for. And uh, how much do you make per month right now? Um, right now, um, I don't, I haven't signed any new, new clients for mm -hmm. new income. So, so I'm, so I'm nothing currently, uh, monthly, but, um, but that changes with every, every client because I'm, I'll, I'll either offer, you know, full pay, pay in full for the package mm -hmm. or, or do a monthly is what it is. So. So you uh, you started February. Where, have you been able to get some paying clients in since then? Yeah, I've had a few. A few. Yep. Okay. So what what's your ideal income like? What are you looking to make per month? Uh, I'm I'm looking at you know full time basis uh, twenty clients. Twenty clients. And uh, how much does each client pay you per month? So so if they're paying monthly, it'd be uh, it'd be a thousand. So it'd be twenty thousand a month. Okay. And um, uh, what were you doing before this? I was I was actually a truck driver um, for the majority of my uh, working career. I did did definitely did some digital marketing and and um, you know uh, kind of management, I guess, mm -hmm. um, essentially like an operations manager. Um, did a little bit as well. So excellent. Um, so so why did you choose life coach? What what drew you to that? Um, really, uh, I've studied personal development so heavily for the past like 17 years and it's mm -hmm. really, really what I think about and, and listen to and, and talk about on a regular basis so that between that and business, um, and really like, like helping people and, and talking to people. I, I was kind of probably, I'll say in a, a professional advice giver, um, mm -hmm. you know, before this. So without um, completely understanding what coaching actually looked like, um, and then you know once I once I gained that clarity and and saw that as a possibility for me to move into, then that was man, it's it's been really really awesome, life altering. Where Excellent. where I should have been, you know, however long ago. But yeah. <laughs> all right, so you you mentioned you know your goal is to get to twenty clients, averaging about twenty grand per month. And you currently have a few that you've gotten since you started the process. Um, how, how are you acquiring new clients? So the the primary thing that I'm doing is is social media. So I put out posts on uh, on Instagram and TikTok, and and then I've recently added in uh, Facebook and um, and YouTube, um, primarily on YouTube Shorts. Uh, I'll be launching a podcast here in the next month, and 
uh, and then I'm I'm looking for some other um, you know local like speaking uh, speaking gigs or things mm -hmm. like that. Are you leveraging paid advertising right now? I have not done any paid advertising. No. Okay. Because uh, you have pretty good margins for paid advertising. If each client is a thousand a month and they stay with you for at least six months, you know that's six uh, k LTV per client. Um, and you know, in this in this price range, you could land it for several hundred to a few grand, depending on um, how much cash reserves you have dedicated towards that. That would probably yeah. help you get to that twenty clients per month pretty quickly. Um, so uh, you you said you have a few clients, so um, are, do you, are you making enough right now to support your current income or are you leveraging savings right now? No, I'm leveraging savings. Okay. How much savings do you have? Uh, not much. I'm, I'm kind of, kind of on the, on the end of it. So, um, so I've, I've got enough, to keep me going for the next couple of months. Couple of months. So like several grand, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd recommend, um, pick one lane, you know, like, uh, the three clients you got so far, was that just from one social platform? It was, um, it was from, it, it was mainly from, uh, one from us, uh, was from a mastermind group that I was in. Um, okay. and it's actually a, a free client, um, that I had before that. And then, uh, and then the others are from other groups or associations that I've been in. Right. I would, what I do is, uh, if they're currently not working with you, uh, reach back out again, see if you can get them signed up for a monthly, you know, cause like, you know, just get, if your current monthly expenses right now are what, three grand a month. Yeah. Yeah. About like that. Yeah. So, about so you want at least three students as a break even, right? Mm -hmm. So the fastest way to do that is go to your past students who've already paid you money. Cause that means they'll, they'll most likely pay again, especially if you delivered a quality service and say, Hey, I'm offering a special deal for my past clients uh, at this amount per month. We'll do weekly check-ins, you know, 30 minutes or hour, however long you like to do it. And uh, we'll, we'll get you to your next goals. And you uh, you position yourself as, you know, here's currently where you're at. Uh, where would you like to go? What's your desired situation? And then you show that you can help bridge that gap in between. And you should be able to land, you know, two or three clients right away. Because the, the last thing you want to do is just like dip into your savings and like blow through that. Then you have to start over again. Um, so, so, <laughs> so now's the time because like you have all this free time now available, right? So yeah. Every day, minimum one to three hours should just be spent on client acquisition. Yeah. And how you do that is you go into your old clients, you start there because those are the highest opportunity. And then you see how you landed those clients in the first place, right? So then you just double down on those techniques. And then if you do want to leverage some of your savings for paid advertising, I have a marketing company. We can help you with that. I, uh, depending on how much savings you have, you know, like the, there's always a risk involved. So I would probably wait until you get a few clients where you at least have your base layer cushion. So you don't have to like worry about, oh no, I'm out of money. Like that kind of yeah. logic. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably the best piece of advice I could give. It's just double down on client acquisition right now, get to minimum three, just so you have that nice padding and then see what worked there, scale that up. Uh, see if you can bring on uh, a salesperson, you can pay, you know, 20% commission uh, to for any future clients they bring in and then make a ton of content uh, you know uh, yeah. so like if you're if you're working six hours per day half of that time's client acquisition the other half should be content and just mm -hmm. pick one lane roll, roll with it you said you wanted to do podcasts you film a long podcast you clip it up into segments you put them on all your platforms yeah. um and yeah you, you should be able to gain a bunch of clients very quickly that way uh it's just take action now you know because like the worst place is you're out of money. Then you have to take action. You don't want to be in that place because people can yeah. like feel the desperation at that point. Yeah. It, yeah. Your, your job is a life coach to help them with their goals. So you, you got to be comfortable in your own you know, skin too. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Um. So yeah, I think that's probably the best piece of advice like on that end. Um. As far as like sleep, like that's kind of my specialty. So tell me about, um. you know, uh, your sleep schedule right now. Are you getting quality sleep? How many hours do you sleep per night? I'm pretty... Um pretty good quality sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it's, it's perfect. Um, I, uh, I have a fairly, fairly regular sleep schedule and, um, you know, get it, I get exercise mm, probably, you know, I probably, I ride, I ride mountain bikes. So, um, so I'll probably ride two, three, maybe four times a week. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, which, which helps, you know, 
Um, and then, uh, yeah, but, but that's, that's probably, I think the quality of my sleep I could, I could do to increase a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but it's a, you know, it's a combination of, of different things. Um, you know, obviously in order to, I'm, I'm fairly familiar with most of, (laughs) most of the things. And, and I think actually setting myself up for success in doing, you know, I mean, uh, eliminating all my screens, you know, enough time before and, and, um, you know, eating, eating later kind of messes with me a little bit, but, Mm -hmm. um, but you know, the, the weekends will, depending on what's going on, they might disrupt, um, which unfortunately then I know takes a toll on the next night or two. Um, you know, depending on if I was drinking over the weekend or, um, you know, staying up too late or, or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that's, that's one of the things that I've, I've definitely realized, uh, makes a huge difference in the start of my week, which then, you know, compounds because right. then I'm, then I'm only, you know, then I'm only sleeping really well for, you know, however many nights a week rather than the majority of them. So. Yeah, definitely. Because like, as you're transitioning from like the employee mindset to the business owner mindset, you you start to see, okay, there's there's a lot of work that I could be doing that I necessarily don't just because I don't have like that, you know, employer over my head saying, hey, we have to, have to get this done. So and so you have to be your own, you know, like, uh, best, talker, head talker now. Yeah, yeah exactly. And worst boss. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. And a good way to do that is just, you know, get, get a pen and paper, have action plans. You know, it's a very simple three-step thing you have to do every day. You reach out to clients, you make new content and you repeat. And if you you put that right next to your work schedule and you have a dedicated three to six hours, you do that every day, it will just compound over time. And then uh, for sleep, I would say, pick a time, go to bed at the same time every night, wake up at the same time every morning. That's the best thing, uh, best piece of advice I recommend for all my students. Um, and avoid blue light technology an hour before bed, you know, uh, smartphones, TVs, turn it all off an hour before bed, you know, get comfortable, take a shower, whatever you want to do. And then uh, right before you go to sleep, prime yourself for the next day. Think about all the things you want to accomplish. Uh, hold the feeling of already achieving all those things. Like, uh, you know, you fall asleep. Oh, I landed a wonderful student today. They're paying in full. It's wonderful. I, this is, I'm holding this great feeling. And you fall asleep in that feeling. And what that will do is it will prime your subconscious in the next day to start forming habit patterns of action. Like, okay, so he, he held the feeling of getting a new client. So now I need to find patterns in this reality to create this new client. So now I'm going to take action and find the new client. You see how that works? If you view your, if you view your mind, your subconscious, like a computer and you feed it information as you go to sleep and when you wake up, and then it takes that information and moves your blood puppet around (laughs) and does the action items. Um, cause you're the most, probably... you're the most suggestible and internalize it when you, right before you go to sleep and then right after you wake up. Exactly. Right. It's, it's basically mm-hmm. self-hypnosis and mm-hmm. it works so well because, uh, humans, it takes so long to form habit patterns, like 42 days. But when you, uh, when you prime your subconscious ahead of time, you can form that habit way faster. You can make it, you know, days, if not uh, faster, because uh, it's just forming a new feeling pattern, right? Because our subconscious is always looking for patterns in our reality to keep us safe. You know, that's the number one priority. It's like, oh, where's the lion? You know, where's the scary thing? We got to protect ourselves. And now as civilized, that's okay. Where's the income coming in? I got to mm-hmm. focus on that. Um, so yeah, that that would probably be the best, you know, like the closer to sunset uh, is what science says is the best time to sleep. Obviously most people, unless you're farmers, don't go to bed around 7.30, 8.30, but uh, you know, like nine, 10 around there. That's always, always mm-hmm. great. Wake up at, you know, 5am, 4am, depending on if you need six to 10 hours of sleep. Um, and yet yeah, as, as far as, you know, getting started, that's probably the best thing I recommend. I, if you want to be a lucid dreamer, so like become self-aware in your dreams and control them. I do teach uh, courses specifically on that. Um, I have just an intro offer, like based on your current price point, I'd probably recommend that it's just 97 a month. And, uh, it's about 10 to 30 minutes of action arms per day. And that just primes your brain, just like where we were talking about very specific techniques to become a lucid dreamer. And then you can run through different scenarios, like 
okay, uh, now I'm at this 20,000 a month income. What am I trying to create? Where am I living? What's the setting? That kind of thing. So what, what it does, it helps prepare you for those future scenarios so they come faster. And then um, that's probably, yeah, the biggest piece of advice I could give you for where you're at now is just focus all your attention on client acquisition and content creation. And if you do those two things, you're going to land probably several clients in the next few weeks. And uh, then you won't have to dip into your savings anymore and you can start growing that again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you have any uh, questions for me? Um, well, I, I guess I'm, I'm curious a uh, just a little bit about what, um, what your, so do you primarily coach people on, on sleep then? Is that. Yeah. Like I I've been doing it for about seven years now where I help people become consistent, consistent lucid dreamers. So, you know, like whether they're dealing with traumas or addictions or they're trying to reach their next revenue goals, it, it's whatever uh, you want to prime your subconscious with. And that's why I teach how to like become self-aware in your dreams, how to control your subconscious. So then that ref, uh, reforms your habit patterns. So, wow. so that's kind of my bread and butter. And then more recently, um, I, I've been getting into the content creation machine. Uh, we've been experimenting with creating 12 shorts per day. So I, I thought um, a good challenge, um, you know, to help grow and help other businesses grow uh, is we now have a marketing company. So what we do is we create organic uh, videos and paid videos, depending on the price point of the business. Uh, and we do that all in house for you. Uh, so like, depending on whatever your niche is, we make three to four specific uh, shorts per day and three to five long form per week. We find that's a good medium for our channels. And then what we do is we post to the five major channels, the LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, uh, and then do comment response, everything like that. So it's kind of like a done for you marketing company, um, uh, just based off of what I've been learning from my own personal company and implementing it into others. And yeah, that's kind of what the majority of my time is now is just like working with videographers, editors, uh, planning out the next steps. Because um, other than like, uh, high ticket coaching clients. Uh, the the way I set up the training for the, uh, I call it the Lucid Accelerator. It's a six week intensive course uh, mm -hmm. to get you to become a consistent Lucid Dreamer. And that that's pretty much hands off at this point because the course has evolved so much. Uh, I'll probably recommend like you start your own course after you've been coaching clients for probably like six to nine months after you like get all the different ranges of, you know, whatever your niche is and how they want to focus that. Um, and then that will help free up more of your time, you know, once, cause you'll, you'll be bottlenecked at the 20 to 40 clients, um, yeah. just from a time perspective. So, so that will be something you'll probably want to introduce later on. And then, um, and then, yeah, like just individual, you know, people who want to reach the next level. I help do that too. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, it, it's it's straightforward as in it's like getting in shape right i teach you how to get in shape and then all that matters is maintenance and that takes about a third of the energy so once you once you're a consistent lucid dreamer you just keep checking in doing future protocols you know keeping it interesting so you want to stay up and with the information and keep learning and growing and um as long as you focus internally i say minimum 10 to 30 minutes per day usually just right before you go to bed you get results pretty quickly like within um Kids get it much faster. They usually get it first or second night. That's why we made a children's book. And then adults, uh, it takes a little bit longer for them, days or weeks at the most to get their first lucid dream. And then consistent lucid dreams happen pretty quickly after that, uh, usually three to five per week because um, everybody dreams about three to five times per night. So you have three to five opportunities every night to have a lucid dream. Uh, so the first step is becoming, um, you know, remembering your dreams, remembering at least one or two of them per night writing them down, finding the patterns, and then uh, becoming self-aware in your dreams during the dream. So like we don't do any like uh, wake-induced methods where you affect your sleep schedule or anything like that. It's all about getting deep quality sleep and then accessing that extra time effectively however you want. You know, some people just use it for entertainment, like fly around like Superman, fun things like that. But it's really whatever your, your, your goals are in life to kind of like direct your attention after you do all those fun entertainment stuff. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the first. This is actually the first time that I've ever heard of. I and I've heard of, I mean, most things that you can, you know, like like I said, you know, the seventeen years of listening to personal development and everything else. So I'm, I'm, I'm fairly well, fairly well up on most everything that's going on. But that's that's very interesting. I really like that idea. Yeah. Thanks. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll send you some training so you can check it out uh, after the call. And if you have any more questions, feel free to email me or um, uh, I guess Instagram, if that's where uh, we okay. initially connected. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> All right, great. Thanks, well, man. Uh, yeah, best of luck. If you need anything, let me know. And you're going to reach those 20 clients in that time. Thanks, man. I, I definitely believe it. I wish you well on your success as well. Thanks. Have a great day. You too.